Hello friends and welcome. Today we want to talk further about the circular progress bar. So the progress bar displays the progress of an activity or action that is running in the background. So how can we use this to display value? Well, I've had quoted some demo work. As you can see, when the form is initialized, it registers a task which takes an action. And this action is work. It slips for 100 milliseconds and then the value is incremented. So this is a do-while loop. While the value is less than the maximum of the progress, this action will execute. So let's run the project and see the result. There you can see the progress is shown and updated. So, the good thing of not hard coding the progress maximum is that the value is updated based on the current status of the background activity. So, here, as you can see, the default maximum value is set to 100 it can be changed to any value say 300 and when we run the project you will say that the progress will take a bit longer because the maximum value is not 100 so we can use this progress to display some information or background task that is running and give a visual feedback to the user the progress of the action that is happening in the background so guys this is what you do it's just a simulation of some hard task that is happening in the background I'm registering a task and the method run takes an action this time the action is a method work and in the do while loop was slipping for 100 milliseconds and incrementing the value while checking if the current value does not exceed the maximum so of course this is for demo uh, purposes you don't hard code like this and you Im include the real task that is happening but don't forget to update the value of the of the progress so there is a feature here which is called invalidate the invalidate says it invalidates the specified region of the control and causes a paint message to be sent to the control so when we invalidate the progress is refreshed or we have created another method Called the update method what's the purpose of this well it causes the control to be redrawn and then the invalidated region within the client area is also updated so when you are handling real life examples and work and you don't see any changes make sure that after us updating the value just update the control and then the current status will be updated and displayed accordingly so thank you guys please try to use this circular progress bar to display some current background or existing action that is happening in the background and give a visual feedback to the user and as a heads up try to use this uh, in a asynchronous method or run this in a separate thread so that you don't block the main ui or the you don't block the main thread which is running your form you can create a separate thread which runs the work and also updates the control so that's it guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video